In today's video, we're going to be taking one massive look at the month of September and the model guidance and basically what it's suggesting as far as temperatures, storminess, snowiness for some of the mountainous regions, obviously, uh, and also uh, where troughs and ridges are going to set up. This is going to be an action-packed video, so stay tuned. Uh, stick with us here. This is going to be a really fun one. Uh, I used to do videos like this a lot, and honestly, recently I haven't been doing them as much, but I want to get back into it. Uh, we're taking a look at our temperature anomalies real quickly. So as we can see already, uh, we have some below normal temperatures set up in the eastern half of the nation here, uh, hanging out here for a lot of uh, our, our more eastern regions, obviously. Uh, we see that there is even further below normal temperatures here in the plains, the southern plains there as well. Uh, we see a lot of those set up. Even uh, up here in the Pacific Northwest, we do see some of these below normal temperatures set up. And then in between here, uh, we do have some warmer temperatures set up. And this is, again, going to be from about the 4th through the 9th here of September. Let's just move on for the 10th through the 15th, which will get us to the midway point of the month. We can see that more of our northern regions here are going to be where we have the above normal temperatures. Also, some of the southwest coast there. Uh, and then a lot of our cooler air is going to be underneath here for the east coast, the south central United States, and the southeast. We also see some of that for the northwest and southwest as well. This is mostly due to precipitation for a lot of these regions. Uh, keep that in mind, but still below average is below average, so it is going to count, obviously. Uh, we can see that the 15th through the 20th, which is going to be our next 15-day or 5-day period here, we can see that there is plenty of cold air in the eastern half of the nation. We also see for the west coast some below normal temperatures, not a lot of above normal temperatures to speak of really here. And that's going to be interesting to note because usually this would indicate that the model uh, is kind of on the fence and doesn't have a clear picture as to what it is expecting uh, for what we're seeing here. So that's going to be important to note for sure. Now, as we reach the 20th through the 25th, we do see a cooler air mass move into the eastern half of the nation, even the north central United States here, as you can see. Uh, we see this set up, but we still have the colder temperatures out west as well, uh, which is going to just be interesting to note for sure. Let's just move this towards that final five-day period, which will be the 25th of September through the 30th of September. Well, you can see that there is above normal temperatures set up for a lot here of the northwestern United States, the Rockies, and the southwest there. It's pretty clear to me that on this frame, we do have a ridge in the west and a trough in the east here to close things out in September. We will take a look again at the air masses, which will give us a better picture of what to anticipate, but it looks like there's some cold air really, really making its way down uh, south in the eastern United States, and there's some warm air really working its way northward in the west, which would indicate that there is a positive PNA setup for the United States, which does set up a pattern that looks exactly like what I'm illustrating here. Now, let's go ahead and talk about our air masses. So we're going to be talking about troughs and ridges primarily here. Uh, and again, we see that these yellow and orange regions here are going to be our troughs, or our ridges better yet. These blue regions here that are dipping down are going to be our troughs, where cold air can be anticipated. We can see here already by today we see a ridge here out west, a bit of a ridge here offshore of the United States there, and then we have some colder air set up in between. And this is going to be kind of a mini trough, not really uh, anything too crazy, but we do definitely have more of a trough look there. Uh, now, as we continue on with this, you'll notice the model gets a little bit flip-floppy with it. Definitely by the time we're taking a look here at this frame, I would say by the end of the month, this model does indicate more of a trough look in the eastern United States. It does appear like these dip down. I know there's yellows everywhere, but we can really see that if you follow these bars that are dipping down in the eastern half of the nation, that's indicating more of a trough look. This is our GFS Ensemble model, so things start to kind of even out as time goes on because these models are going in all sorts of different directions. There's about 30 models here on our GFS Ensemble uh, and all of those opinions are put into one mean average opinion. So that's why we get this averaged outlook here at the end. Uh, now, as we approach even further into October, we can see we get a lot of the same in the first week of October as well. Definitely worth noting. Now, for some of that storminess, I just want to talk about it. We're going to go over the total precipitation, which is going to give us a good idea of where a lot of the storminess could take place. The first 10 days of September, here's a look. 
And we can see that a lot of the storm is going to be tracking through the eastern United States, the southeastern United States. If you've been keeping up with our daily videos, you would know this because we basically go over this 10 day period in our videos. So you've seen that there is a lot of storm is expected here and not a whole lot expected here in the western United States. So we see a lot of that go to the southeast. Now, the five days following that, Oh, we can see that there is a lot of precipitation expected here in the southeastern corner again. We get a little bit more here on this ensemble model for the western United States, even as we approach the 20th. So we add another five days here. We see a lot in the eastern United States still taking place. And as we reach the end of the month, we can see that we get 5 to 10 inches of precipitation for a lot of our Gulf states and our southeast states. That's where we see the most of this precipitation. Now we're actually gonna go over our seven day uh, precipitation anomalies here, which means basically in the brown areas, we see below average precipitation. In the green areas and blue areas there, we see above average precipitation. This is all seven day periods. So this is gonna be your first week here from the point I'm making this video, which is actually the, set, the 3rd of September right now. You'll be seeing this in a few days. Um, so it's gonna be later by then. Uh, but basically, this is the upcoming few days. We can see a lot more dry conditions in the northern United States. And then again, the southeastern corridors where we see the above average amounts. Over here, we see below average for all these areas. That's what we're seeing. Uh, now, as we approach the week following that, we see some of the southwest and south central United States start to get more. We're still dry to the north. That still seems to be the trend here on this model. As we add another five days, we see the model evening out again. Things are looking more averaged out. We still see the above average precipitation here though for now the upper Midwest, the Ohio Valley, and the South Central United States, and a bit of the Southeast as well by this point. Then we start to see this area actually dry up. Uh, according to this ensemble model, as we approach the end of the month, we see more precipitation here for Florida and more here for the South Central United States, uh, but we see things dry up for some other regions. Uh, and it's gonna be our same story here by time we're reaching the very, very end of September, we see this corridor here in Texas, New Mexico, Oklahoma, down through the Gulf of Mexico and into Florida, seeing above normal precipitation, but a lot of dryness trending in here for a lot of these areas, uh, the northern United States and the eastern United States. So we really flip-flop and we get back into a pattern that's pretty much the opposite here by time we're reaching the end of that model run. Another interesting thing to note and to, to speak of here is our 30-day, or actually this is our 35-day snowfall uh, here according to our GFS and Sava model. And we see a lot of snowfall over the next 35 days expected there for the Rockies. Uh, so again, this is an ensemble model. So to see this level of agreement actually indicates that they expect a snowy September for the Rockies and the Cascades there. We can see some blues popping up indicating two to six inches of snowfall there for the Northern Cascades which I feel like is pretty on par with normal. Uh, we see some purples and pinks showing up there for Wyoming and Montana. This is an ensemble model, so if we did see a big snowstorm, we'd probably end up seeing much, much more than this. This is a low resolution, uh, very, very averaged out version of what would be likely. Uh, we could see that a lot of states like Nebraska, the Dakotas, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan, seeing some snowfall, very, very interesting there. And then we also see New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine seeing some of their first flurries as well here in the month of September, which I feel like is a little bit earlier than normal. So that would be very, very interesting if that did take place. So we're going to be watching for that as well. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I want to make more long range videos like this one coming up soon. So let me know if you did enjoy it. Like the video if you did to let me know you liked it. Leave a comment down below with your thoughts and your thoughts on this type of video as well. And be sure to subscribe for more weather related content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.